loss of memory is probably the most tragic uh, occurrence that can accompany disease or injury. Memory is at the heart of who a person actually is. Their personality is entwined with their memories. Their interaction with all other people is entwined with their memories. Without our memories, we lose our sense of self. We were looking to see if it was possible to use a patient's own code for memory to strengthen that and feed it back in so that we could essentially restore the ability to encode and retrieve memory. Our study was designed to work with patients that already had electrodes in their hippocampus. That patient population is epilepsy patients who have seizures that will require some form of surgery to correct their seizures. These patients have electrodes placed into areas of the brain, including the hippocampus, and they stay there for about two weeks. While the patients are in the hospital, when they're not doing the studies necessary for their medical care, we can go in and we can test. We have the patient play a computer game that involves memory, and we record the activity of the brain cells, the neurons in hippocampus. So what we found is that when we tested patients by stimulating their hippocampus with a pattern that was derived from their own neural activity in hippocampus, we were able to improve their short-term memory by quite a bit. We had two tests. One was a very short-term memory that lasted about 120 seconds, two minutes. And we found that we could improve their performance on the memory test at that range about 37%. We had a second test that worked very similar in which we were able to test memory that was lasting more than an hour, up to 75 minutes. And we found in that case we were able to improve memory performance by 35%. So under both conditions we were able to see quite a substantial improvement in memory. Our goal is to restore memory. And right now we're working with patients that already have electrodes. Uh, and what we would like to do is to be able to help people who are not necessarily in that same patient population we're working with right now. That is going to require some decisions by the doctors, by the patients, and by the researchers as to when we put electrodes in and who we're going to help. But our target is to help people who have had a traumatic brain injury, people who've had stroke, people who've had memory loss due to aging, Alzheimer's, or any number of other diseases that can affect the memory. In one sense, we were not surprised to find that this worked. We had a long history of animal studies in which we were testing this concept uh, in other species, in animals, in the laboratory, and we were having success. What surprised us was how successful it was. 35% improvement in memory is huge. And the results that we have compared to some other techniques indicate that this is a very successful uh, attempt to uh, restore memory. I also have an incredible team. I am very proud of the team that works with us. We have a mixture of expertise from the laboratory technicians who work with the animal studies and the clinical personnel who assist whenever we're working with the patients. We have surgeons, we have clinicians, and we have technicians, and we have the modeling group that works with us at USC. Very important contributions, and I'm very proud of the team. They're who made this work.